Hey, hey mamas, I'm Kia Williams and welcome to this Yoga Mamas Yoga Tutorial. So this tutorial is all about Pigeon Pose or Eka Pada Raja Kapatasana. Say that three times fast. Now, this question came from Kristen Lee out of our Yoga Mamas Facebook group and she wanted to know how to do Pigeon Pose correctly. And more specifically, her question was around where should you place the foot in pigeon pose, you should place it further out or further in. So I'm gonna get to answering your question, Kristen, but I think if I tell you what the purpose of the pose is, you'll probably have your answer. So pigeon pose is a more yin pose. It is a back bend and it has two primary stretches. The first stretch, the first primary stretch is the back of the hip or specifically this piriformis muscle that's deep in your glutes. The second stretch is your hip flexor or this iliopsoas muscle that's on the leg that's behind you in the pose, okay? So we get a little heart opener and we get a little hip stretch, side of the hip or back of the hip and front of the hip. Now, since that's the purpose of the pose, you technically place your front leg anywhere that you actually get the stretch that you're desiring. It doesn't matter what the pose looks like so much so long as you get the stretch. Now, pigeon pose is a really good way, like I said, to stretch out the hips, to open up the heart and give us a little bit more energy. And we have a Yoga Wednesdays coming up next week where we're gonna talk about getting more energy and so we're gonna do a lot of back bending for that. So be sure to sign up and check that out. Now, so let's get into a couple of variations of pigeon. I'm gonna use some props. The first prop that I'm gonna use is a blanket. Now there's nothing special about this blanket, this is just a throw blanket that I keep on my couch, but you can roll it up, uh, fold it up several different ways to give you the height that you need. So first, getting into a modified version of pigeon. We're going to come to seated with our legs out in front of us, okay? Remove all the fleshy portion of your hind parts, okay? And we're going to take this right leg and draw it back behind us. Just that simple. And we're going to take the left leg and draw it in. This can be pigeon. Now what we're going to do is try to square the hip bones towards the top edge of the mat. And you might feel like this is a lot going on with your back. And if you do, then you're going to take this blanket and bring it underneath of your left hip. Okay? And that will give you some support. Now we're going to open up the chest towards the edge of the mat. And you might already start to feel a stretch in this hip flexor and a stretch of the back of the um, back of the left hip. Now this is upright pigeon or modification of upright pigeon. When we fold, we get a little bit more emphasis on the back of the hip. So you can fold and come down to your elbows or you can fold and come down to your forehead. Now I was always taught to fold in the direction of the shin. So if my shin is not perfectly um, parallel to the edge of the mat, then I'm going to angle my torso to fold the direction of the shin. The reason being is because this gives me more intense of a stretch on the back of that hip, okay? So this is the first option, to be here. And this is a perfectly good option, okay? If you're feeling a little more open in this hip flexor, then you're gonna to aim to straighten the leg. Now when we straighten the leg, we wanna turn the hip bones square down towards the floor. Now you might notice that my shin bone is at a really deep angle here because I'm not very open in the back of my hips. Okay, I feel this stretch here, so this is the correct placement for my shin bone. If you are really open in the back of the hips, then you start to bring this leg out even further and being mindful that you still want to square the hip bones off towards the floor. If bringing this shin open here makes you sit sideways and flop open, then draw it back in, square the hip bones off, and this is where placing your shin bone is perfect for you. So again, this is upright pigeon. When you stay upright, then you get a little more stretch in this hip flexor. As you fold in the direction of your shin, then you get a little more emphasis on the back of the hip. So you can stay here, lifting the chest, reaching the navel down towards the floor. And if you're really open there, then you can start to fold even deeper, okay? So I'm doing all of this with the blanket underneath of me. If you're really open in the hips, then you would simply remove the blanket and your hip would probably come all the way down to the ground. Now, a more advanced version of pigeon, you will want to actually bring your shin bone in closer towards your hip, right? Because you're gonna need the balance and we're gonna bend into that back leg and reach back 
with our right hand and see if we can grab the foot. Notice how now my shoulders are not squared off to the short edge of the mat. I'm deliberately opening them up here. Okay, so option is to stay here. If you want more of a stretch in the quadricep on the back leg, then you're gonna draw the leg even closer in and maybe even hook it into your elbow crease. Now this takes a lot of balance, particularly if you're not open in the hips like I'm not. So I'm gonna find, garner the balance here and bring this hand around, okay? So now I'm really feeling this in my quadricep, not so much in my hip anymore, okay? So this is my more advanced variation. You can always reach around and take your time. <laughs> See if you can get that arm around here too. Right? So people who are really open in the hip find that really easy. People like me, not so much. Okay? So those are your options. Nobody said you had to straighten the leg out in pigeon. Nobody said you had to lift the back leg. Pigeon is what you make of it. So long as you're getting the back bend, meaning the chest opener, the stretch in the back of the hip, and the stretch in the front of the hip, then you are doing it right. All right, let me know if you have any other questions. Feel free to ask questions below this video or post a new link in our Facebook group and ask about a different post. I'll be happy to make a new yoga tutorial. All right, girls, take care.